Pato and George. Completely uncensored entertainment on Dash Fox TV. <laughs> With Abe Ruiz and the Squatters. Our amazing burlesque dancing team, the Piglets. On tonight's show, we have... Before my landlord sees you, you pothead. <laughs> Thank you. Five piglets we have today. Five piglets. All right. I'm getting over a flu. I have a lot of mucus, and it's you know, and you're tasting just disgusting this all day. Um, we have like a lot of guests tonight, so I'm, the monologues will be very brief. That Mr. Pregnant guy will be back, and we got a bunch of other fantastic guests tonight. So stay tuned for the Pig Roast Uncensored Entertainment. Uh, this is the news, right, George? Did you watch the Oscars last night? Gay, gay, <laughs> yes. All right. What the fuck is with Billy Crystal? Did he have a facelift? <laughs> He's looking a little puffy, that fucking Jewish hamster. How gay was that when George Clooney kissed that fat-faced Jew? Gay, gay, <laughs> yes. I feel sorry for Clooney. Gotta kiss that fucking city slickers. Harry met Sally, suck my left nut. Yeah, Hollywood royalty in my balls. But then again, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? <laughs> what a fucking suck fest Hollywood is, bunch of fucking homos. Uh, before I present the award for best song and a fuck Jack Nicholson in the ass, I got three minutes where they play the out music. <laughs> That's Hollywood in a nutshell. You gotta kiss a Jew to stay working. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, fucking kids. Right. <laughs> Bobby there. I'm sure he sees it too. Alright. So at the Oscars, Sasha Baron. Jesus, it's Wendy. All right, put your fucking arm on there, retard. I am. We're fighting mighty winds here. All right, here we go. Uh, at the Oscars, Sasha Baron Cohen's character, Admiral General Aliden, spilled what was supposedly the ashes of King John II all over Ryan. Seacrest jacket during the red carpet interview. Yeah, minutes later, Keith Richards was started sniffing the ashes off the jacket and said, if I got high off my daddy's ashes, this slant-eyed fucking zip should send me through the fucking roof. <laughs> <laughs> He's a junkie. Um, 
And the artist took home the award for Best Picture, Best Actor, and Best Director. Oh, fuck that shit. The only black and white movies I like are interracial pornos. <laughs> yeah, I want to see Leslie Snipes fucking Julie Andrews in the fucking ass. <laughs> All right. And did you say this? The dog from the artist delighted the crowd at the Vanity Fair after party by doing several tricks like playing dead. Yeah, trying, trying to upstage the canine, Nick Nolte followed suit by playing dead behind a dumpster until the next morning. <laughs> oh, hell. Oh, hell. <laughs> Don't pull my prick, you nigger with straight hair. You can crawl over your dying mother and fuck your sister. <laughs> Chris Brown is under investigation for stealing a young woman's iPhone in Miami. The woman got her iPhone back, but is pressing charges against Brown for the black eye he gave to Siri. <laughs> J.K. Rowling announced on Friday that her new novel, which is aimed for adults, will be published later this year. Yeah, it's tentatively titled Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince with Full-Blown AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talk, talk, talk. Here's an article about Danica Patrick on Monday night. Yeah, how did she do? She scrapes with her teeth a little. Oh, come on, George. You didn't get a blowjob from Danica. Yeah, you're right. She's a dyke. So I fucked her in the ass. Let that be a lesbian to you. She's a muffler diver. A cock. <laughs> Along with expensive jewelry and art, some U.S. porn shops began accepting wine as a collateral for loans this week. Oh, yeah, upon hearing the news, Lindsay Lohan, Snooki, and David Hasselhoff have all found themselves being approved for loans for the first time in five years. <laughs> uh, junkies. George Clooney kissed a Jew. It's a world coming to. Okay, we're, uh, we're done with the news. Thank you. Okay, uh, once again, it's Mental Health Week here on the Pig Roast. This next gentleman, when he's not doing Samsonite commercials, likes to be billed as Mr. Pregnant. There he is. Clap your hands, everybody. Everybody clap your hands. Clap your hands, everybody. Every clap your hands. I don't need no porn, cause my boobies turn me on. I don't need no porn. Boobies turn me on. Kitty like a woman, kitty like a woman, I got kitty like a woman. I got kitty like a woman, kitty like a woman, kitty like a woman. All right. Wonderful. That was great. Have a seat, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pregnant. That was Mr. Pregnant. What can I say, man? And that song's been in my head for a couple of days now. Tinky's like a woman. Yeah. Catch your breath now. Okay. Okay. Could you take all your clothes off and sit in the corner? I'm buying a black couch and I'm going to see all books in the apartment. No, no. A terrible joke. Now, um, 
I was a little bit disappointed when I saw your um, your uh, titties like a woman clip, and then I saw you speaking. You're a normal guy. You're not. I'm a very normal guy, actually. Yes, knock a snow, call him to call it, quack yeah. quack. <laughs> <laughs> What's your real name? Do you give that out? My name is Mr. Pregnant. I was born. You know why they call me Mr. Pregnant? I don't. Oh God. Oh. Security. Oh. All right now. Okay. Because it looks like I'm having a baby. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, uh, do, do That's smoke, why they call me Mr. Pregnant. Those are color of your shoes, or are you stuck in something? <laughs> no, he was going to ask you, do you smoke ganja? No, I, I don't smoke every day. Yeah, he don't need no help with his appetite. Look at his 12 sandwich eating fun. <laughs> uh, that song is really catchy. Uh, are you a, a musician? Did I put you in an uncompromising position? You look very uncomfortable with my sexualness. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Jerry Lewis never leaves home without uh, his pair of buck teeth in his pocket. And I never leave home without my sweet tits. Oh, God. Just <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, hey, you want to scream, scream my tits? Um, no, I, I, I just do some Purell and we're running low. Um, I, I can't come on this show without you squeezing the mist up right now. Yeah, I gotta squeeze a pregnant. Hold on, hold on. I'm squeezing a pregnant. Hey, Mom, right now. get my tits squeezed. Uh, okay, all right. <laughs> That's one way to lose weight. Um, yeah. uh, can I say again? Are you saying your uh, Are you saying your hands could burn fat? Because if that's the case, I want to play with my boobs all day. Mr. Mr. Pregnant, sit down and take it easy for a second. Can I sit here? I'm very comfortable. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Al, um, you you've had over three million people watch you play with your man boobs. Yes, sir. Has that added up to any money for you? Do you do you work live? Or? No, it just told me a lot of Americans have a lot of fetish for my sweetness. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. This is a freak for everyone. Can I tell you something? Yes, sir. I just made a very interesting observation. Yeah. If you squeeze Mr. Pregnant tits, <laughs> milk comes out. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, lactose intolerant yeah, right now. Okay. No, 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 thank you. I'm going to go vomit into a sock. Uh, uh, so, uh, you got an Oscar for ghosts, right? No. You really, fucking, you really let yourself go. Uh, I noticed you discarded that wig early in, on in your performance. Did you change your mind or was that part of your striptease? That's my grandmother's wig. Oh, that's your grandmother's wig? I took oh. it from her when she was 15. You took it from her? Uh huh. Okay, well, nobody could fight you. Um, now, we had on um, um, uh, Jimmy McMillan, who uh, rent too damn high. Have you heard of that, that yeah. gentleman? Yes, sir. Yeah, you should be his running mate. Uh, Vice President Pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Has a nice ring to it, you know? He might need to lose 3,000 pounds, shave your head, and then die, but uh, I think it'd be a big hit. All right. I mean, look at Cheney. No, oh, he's good. Who's um, this guy? Oh, this is George. I, I have an, um, a mental Ill illness, and uh, I can only speak to it behind, hiding behind a puppet. Is that a piece of wood? Yes, it is. Whoa! Oh, this is you are up? Angel. You want to fight me? You want to battle him? Oh, dance off? Okay. You want to dance with Mr. Pregnant? Okay. Holy crap! No one ever on the planet who ever attempted Mr. Pregnant in a dance song. A dance off Not with Big A and Mr. Pregnant sounds like it could be really good. Are you guys ready? Okay, bring on the milk. Pregnant, I gotta say, hello? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, yeah, you're, you're really my favorite type of guest. Just an uninhibited madman. We love guys like you. 
There's too much pretension and self-promotion. By the way, where do people find your videos on YouTube? Well, folks, my name is Mr. Fregnant, so you could go online, you could find me on YouTube. Mr. Fregnant, snack it now and check out my website, www.fregnant.com. <laughs> <laughs> quack, quack. You didn't fuck that up. Yum, yum, eat them up. Um, do you, uh, do, do you play an instrument? Yes, I play with one, I play with one instrument. Oh, God, is this a straight line? Oh, God. Take that cock out, sir. That's the, like a woman. That's the only like instrument Mr. Pregnant plays with. Um, what's with the pot in your head? Are you going to make ravioli? <laughs> Why don't you Mr. Pregnant wear a pot? Because I, because, because I cook in my hat. Okay. Um, well, you, you must get a seat on the subway all the time with this outfit. All the time. People always give me seats. I always wonder if I'm pregnant or I'm an old lady. As soon as I go on the train, everybody get up. I thought it was because I was fat, but I think it's because I look pregnant. I, I cut a reggae record once, so would you like to hear Mr. Pregnant? Yes, sir. Come back to Jamaica. Bob Marley is dead. No more Rastafarians. We just want your bread. Kill the white men, kill the white men. Kill the white men, kill the white men. Kill the white men, kill the white men. It's time for America to come together. <laughs> Why power? He's a frightening mess. Um, <laughs> Mr. Pregnant, you're wonderful. Thank you, man. You're, Thank you're you. a true madman. Can I get a kiss before you in, in this world, no, you're not getting a kiss out of me. Uh, thank you. We'll be back for more pig rolls. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie's like a woman. <laughs> Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light. You're watching Bash Box TV, brothers. Hey, wait, guys. Who is it? Hi, I'm Lena. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lane. I mean, I'm Otto. Introduce me. Introduce me. Oh, this is George. I'm Otto. We live here. Oh, my God. Hi, George. Hi, how are you? I, I really like your cocktail dress. A cock. Oh, thank you. Yeah, welcome to the building. Oh, thank you. Well, my refrigerator is broken, and it is so hot in my apartment. Oh. I was wondering if you had anything cold to drink. I do. I have a beer. Sure. Oh, great. Got your name on it, Lana. Thanks. Here you go. That does look cold. Yeah. Enjoy. Oh, look at the fucking body on her. Just be cool. Fuck you. Take my cock out. Just <laughs> oh, the legs on her. Oh, mm. oh, oh, oh. That was good. That's, yeah, you look but like But I really could use another. It. Um, shh, I'd it. buy some myself, but the mover's lost my wallet. Oh, I, I could lend you some money. Oh, really? That'd be great. All I need is like 10 bucks and you would be the best neighbor ever. All I have is a 50. Oh, that's fine. Really? <laughs> oh, thanks, neighbor. Goddamn fiscal and skank took the last 50. Now I gotta eat guitar picks. Boiled again by a dirty whore. Hey, you're watching the pig roast with Otto and George. Yeah, I know. I, there's nothing on TV right now. Okay, we're gonna go. You, you're watching. <laughs> and the squatters. Thank you, Ed. Very nice. Very nice. The bass player looks a little hungry. Uh, you look like you fell out of the cloth and are you eating enough? <laughs> Abe wears a hat. Now you wear a hat. Fucking copycat. The guy in the tuba, man. What's his story? Is he stoned? Are you stoned? You look like you combed your hair with a cock. <laughs> you guys are uh, really sounding good, though. You play, you play together uh, just beautifully. It's wonderful. Oh, I fucking guy on the corn over there and the two to play another shows up the fucking rehearsal. Is there a polka convention or something? I don't know about. <laughs> polka, the white man's music, right? Yeah, whatever. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you guys should get jobs, man. Burger King is hiring. Buy fucking lay about junkies. <laughs> it's not like that anymore. Musicians don't get high. What am I? Why don't you leave the band alone? Fuck yourself. Your love is cunt.com. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, who is it? Hey, it's Johnny O. Hey, it's Johnny O, the comedian. Hey, let him in. I, lo I love this pad. I love it. You guys hear that Kim Kardashian has a new perfume out? That's got to be a sign of the apocalypse, right? I know if I was a young girl, that's what I'd want to smell like. The daughter of O.J.'s bag man, the star of three bootleg porn videos. I heard the name of the perfume is Armenian Whore Juice. She said it's her second favorite thing to wear behind her ears. Now her sister's got a cologne, Chloe, who's married to Lamar Odom. Someone should tell Lamar, if you're gonna put your name on a fragrance, you have to start showering after games. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> By the way, you know why the Kardashians have five turkeys on their Thanksgiving table? So the girls don't fight over the dark meat. <laughs> no. sh sh should I get all the racial crap out of the way now before they get a second tuba player? All right. I'm a big basketball fan. I watch the NCAA tournament every year. I'm not making this up. Five years ago, the University of Western Illinois basketball team had the wrong spelling on their jerseys. They had Illinios. They played five games with the wrong spelling. I said, I'd like to have been there to see the genius that cracked the case. Fake coach, my tutor said we got a problem. <laughs> so uh, my girlfriend watches the Jersey Shore, and uh, so I finally watched a marathon with her. I watched the last episode of the first season. Mike, the situation. He looks into the camera and he says, it was our last day in the house. We decided to go to the beach for the first time. Okay, last day in the house, last day in the house for a month and a half. Then I watched this season, Snooky running down the boardwalk screaming, where's the beach? <laughs> That's like, that's like having a timeshare at Niagara Falls, and the day you're leaving, you go, you hear water running? <laughs> Mike, this situation. The situation is you got Brad Pitt's body, Paulie Shore's head. Find a lump on your situation. <laughs> I saw him on uh, Dancing with the Stars. I saw bigger stars when I swallowed a roach clip. <laughs> and now they all have books out, you know? Come on. The last book any of them ever touched had matches. And Snooky, remember when she got in trouble with the police, that she went to court for getting drunk on the beach? Her lawyer said to the judge, Your Honor, she's too good looking to go to prison. I don't know about that. Snooky looks to me like the incestuous love child of Wednesday and Pugsley Adams. That's... <laughs> right, how many more New Year's are we gonna have Dick Clark doing the countdown? Seriously, isn't New Year's supposed to be about out with the old man, in with the baby in the diapers, right? Nobody wants an old man in diapers doing the countdown. Did you hear him last year? Ryan Seacrest, and now an American institution, or Dick Clark with the countdown. 14, 13, 9, February. <laughs> Thanks for the rockin' Eve, Dick. By the way, Dick Clark gives a whole new meaning to the phrase, stroke of midnight. <laughs> Can everybody see this scar on my forehead? That's from the piglets touching me with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> So here's some quick impressions. My grandmother watching porn. I'll bet that girl in the middle got paid the most. <laughs> I usually like to ask in a club a black guy, uh, hey, you're Dominican. Yes, oh, that's close enough. <laughs> um, I like to ask a black guy who understood everything Bernie Mac was saying. One of my heroes, God rest his soul. But I, I asked all my black friends and he said, <laughs> I'll wait. He got about 85% of what Bernie Mac said. I go, people, talk about being on the pop, don't pay no pop. I never pay no pop. Children, I'm a kid, I'm a soft. Go up the tip, I'm gonna play the tail up there. I'll tell you something, America, but Bernie Mac don't play the tail up there. I'm gonna get a Jane Goodall tape, figure out what the hell he was saying. And one of my heroes, the late, great uh, Nipsey Russell, poet laureate of comedy. If he didn't become a comedian, would he still talk like that? Say, this is Nipsey Russell as a gastroenterologist. I cut the polyps up your ass so you'll no longer feel like you're shitting glass. <laughs> My name's Johnny O. Thanks a lot.
for Johnny O with Johnny O talking to me. You know what I, I love about Johnny O is that you're not like these comics that, that just uh, go back to their room and they tweet at each other and they go on the internet and they write their douchey little clever jokes. I mean, the first time we worked together, we got properly drunk together <laughs> and we haven't stopped since. We, when we do a road gig, we, we fucking leave that town practically in a hearse, right? Yes. I, I mean, I didn't get into show business to go to bed early and read the fucking Bible, right? You too? Yeah, I think I remember when I first got to work with you when it was in the, I guess that was Poughkeepsie? Yeah, Poughkeepsie, and bananas. This yeah. was before cell phones and we wanted to order some gyros from the diner, which was right up the street. And they, they warned us that the night manager hated the comedians and he wouldn't make the call. So uh, then the final, he calls the, the cops. The Dutch sign her right. Yeah, Good the gyros there. Yeah, and he calls, and we all, all right, wanted was- two drunken douchebags tripping down memory lane. <laughs> all right. It ended up, they said, uh, he goes, I'm calling the cops, and in George's voice you hear, well then good, tell them to pick up the gyros. <laughs> now, here's the fuck, here's the fucked up part. Johnny O's getting married soon. Yeah. How crazy is that? Are you, are you um, involved, well, that's a stupid question, but are you involved in the planning, or do they just say show up with a tux? No, I'm, she's doing everything. Yeah. Um, so, uh, do a sit up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look good. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> this is why I love him. He's, you know, he's a depressed, <laughs> self-loathing <laughs> fuck like myself. You know, it's like, there's happier people at firing squads than us. <laughs> <laughs> Funny shit, man, really good. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks. We're gonna have a commercial break now. We'll be back. Okay, once again, we're kicking Jay Leno's ass. We have much better talent on our show. Mr. Pregnant over there, all right? Oh. In the comedy of Johnny O. Now, uh, play us out, Abe, please, kindly. <laughs> What the hell is Jim Cooney doing here? 